dropshipping is easy peasy, orange squeezy, and today I'm going to prove it to you. We're going to take a store from zero to profitable in just seven days, and I'm going to show you exactly what to do and what not to do. Okay, so what do I mean that it's too easy to start dropshipping? Two things. The first thing is that with all the content around dropshipping now, most of you think that it's perfectly okay to pick the third product you find on AliExpress, throw up the middest looking dropshipping store, the middest looking website, and steal someone's ads off PP ads and run them on TikTok and voila, you've escaped the matrix. Okay, so if your setup is anything like what I just described, then I can almost guarantee you're gonna have no motion because with how easy everything is on Shopify now, a literal monkey could set everything up that I just described in like an hour. So of course it's not gonna work. But that brings me to thing two, which is because it's become so easy, people are just doing the bare minimum and then it doesn't work out and they end up saying e-com is saturated. If we just go the extra mile and put that extra work in, then our chances of success will skyrocket. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so I was watching this back and I felt like I wasn't clear enough here. So all I'm saying is that dropshipping today feels like a get rich quick scheme where it's promoted to put in minimal effort and you'll get crazy results and get rich overnight. What I'm saying is that idea is silly. It's a real business model and you have to take this seriously. But there's a massive opportunity lying in the fact that most of your competition is not trying hard at all. So in this challenge, I'm just trying to show you what it means to take this a little bit more serious and show you some realistic results. Okay, let's get back to the video. Step one for me has always been product research. Product research, I'd have to say, is the most important factor in determining your success with dropshipping. I'm gonna end up doing a whole video on this with a complete breakdown, but for now, I'm just gonna share my biggest tip. When you pick a product, you want it to have two things. That's, it should be a problem solver and it should have a virality factor. The more painful the problem it solves, the better, and the more eye-catching the product, the better. Great, so now that we know what we're looking for, let's talk about some ways to find winning products. I'm gonna talk about two that I like for this challenge. The first one is PP Ads. It's an ad spy tool that shows you every TikTok ad. It's kind of expensive, but it's super useful for finding products that are currently doing really well, especially on TikTok. The second method, basically make a burner account on TikTok or Instagram Reels and just scroll, scroll, scroll and engage with dropshipping content only. After a while, your algorithm will be tailored to just show you more and more dropshipping ads and this should help you find a product and you'll find some stuff pretty fast. After that, just go on AliExpress and start looking for good suppliers. You want to ideally find a supplier that has more than a thousand plus orders, um, good reviews and obviously good margin and shipping times. Okay, so I've been scrolling for way too long, but I did stumble on this product and it's what I'm going to go with. It's a lash serum that you put on your eyelashes every day and it grows your lashes to new crazy lengths. So this is great because it's got those two criteria and it's already been proven to be winning on TikTok and Instagram. It's got these great before and afters that makes for awesome content. So with that being said, it's day four already. Let's move on to designing the website. Okay, so I spent some time designing the website and I gotta say, I think it came out pretty clean. Guys, don't listen to anyone who says you can just throw up a website and launch the store. You definitely want to put some time in and make sure that the website looks good because the main reason that people don't buy is because there's a lack of trust. And there's no better way to demonstrate trust to the customer than with a great looking website. So this is a side by side of the website I designed for the challenge and a website that a Redditor posted and wanted reviewed. When you're designing your website, you want to focus on these two things. That's mobile design and product page design, because most of your traffic is going to land on the product page on their phone. So that's where you need to focus your design attention. Okay, so on the screen, I'm just putting up some bullet points of things that you should include on your product page that will increase your conversion rate. Anyway, I think the site looks pretty good, so let's move on to the most important step, the ads. I know I already said product research is the most important step, but your ads come in at a very close second. So for this challenge, we're gonna be running ads on TikTok, and basically for TikTok ads, what you wanna do is find as many clips of your product from around the internet that you can, you can look on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, 
download as many clips as possible. Ideally, you wanna use as much UGC content as you can. You wanna have at least three ads slash creatives and basically just cut these clips up, show off the product, and then let people know about your special offer or discount. You could either do this yourself or you can have an ad service do it. For this challenge, I'm gonna use EcomChimp. I think they're the best for TikTok ads, so I'm gonna fill out this form, send them my product link, and hopefully within 24 hours, we'll have our video ads and we'll run these on TikTok and see how they perform. What's up guys, it's the next day. We got the ads back and I think they look fire, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how we set up the TikTok ads in the ads manager. But first, let's take a look at one of the ads we got back from EcomChimp. Okay, the ad actually uses copyrighted music here, so I can't play the audio. But basically you have an AI voiceover that's saying exactly what the captions are saying. You've got these two great UGC style reviews that are just talking up the product. And then it comes back to an AI voiceover, no captions here, but it's just talking up the product. And it mentions the offer as buy one, get one free. All right, now let's talk about how we're gonna set the campaign up in the ads manager. All right, y'all, I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and simple. So basically you wanna create three total campaigns. For your first campaign, that's gonna be your ABO. You're gonna create it like so. Make sure you connect your pixel by downloading the TikTok app on your Shopify store. Make sure the conversion event is set to complete payment. For the placement, turn off comments, video download, and sharing. And for the targeting, just leave it broad. You could do gender targeting if it makes sense. For me, I'm only gonna be targeting females as this is a female oriented product. And then upload your three advertisements in the ad section. And that's it for your first campaign. For your second campaign, it's basically identical, except in the very beginning, you're gonna turn on campaign budget optimization. Set that to $50. For the third campaign, just duplicate that last campaign budget optimization one. And then you have your three campaigns. Okay, so I'm gonna schedule my first campaign to run at 6 a.m. and my second and third campaigns to run at 7 a.m. This way, the algorithm has time to find the right audience before the CBOs come in. Even though technically the budget is at $120 a day, does not mean I need to spend $120 a day. I'm giving TikTok enough of a chance to find the right audience and test. So when I see ad campaigns that aren't working or creatives that aren't working, I can turn those off and scale up the winners. Much more details on this in a future video. But for now, I'm gonna schedule these campaigns and I'm gonna come back to you tomorrow with the results. All right guys, not gonna lie, I got a little busy, so we're back a few days later with the results. So here's how much we made. <laughs> oh, call was the blind. Embarrassing. <laughs> call was Look, I know it's not as much as you're used to seeing on YouTube. But the point of this video was not to make tons of money and flex on you guys. It was to show you that dropshipping is a real business model and you actually have to put some work in to succeed. But if you do, if you choose a great product, if you build a great store and you run great advertisements, your chances of success will increase dramatically. So keep working hard, keep trying, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.